Ardipithecus ramidus is one of the earliest ancestors of humans which lived 4.4 million years ago in the early Pliocene period. The skull has several ape-like features, such as a very low and backward sloping forehead, distinct brow ridge and strongly protruding face and a nuchal crest. The foramen magnum became more centrally positioned over time. This allowed for more efficient bipedal locomotion. This made it easier to balance the mass of the skull over the spine. Earlier hominins had placement of their foramen magnum closer to the back of their skull, such as Ardipithecus ramidus, but later hominins showed a shift of this foramen magnum closer to the centre of their skulls. A very large and robust mandible and rounded chin are also ape-like features. The incisors are large and protrude outwards. The canines are diamond-shaped, the relative size of canines became smaller over time. This reflects the transition from meat scavenging, which required ripping and tearing of flesh, to hunting, butchering and cooking of meat. In many species, including chimpanzees, canines are very important in displays of dominance between males, thus providing clues about social behaviour. This trend of less pointed canine teeth suggests reduced conflict between males. Diastema became lost over time because as the canines became reduced, gaps between teeth were no longer needed to accommodate the enlarged lower canines. The molars aren't particularly small or particularly large, or the teeth appear to be arranged rectangularly. The arrangement of the teeth, or curvature of the dental arcade, became more parabolic over time. This aligns with the overall reduction in the size of the jaw bones, muscles and teeth. Up until Homo habilis, the dental arcade was still relatively rectangular. From Homo ergaster, there is a shift towards a more parabolic dental arcade. The shapes of these teeth suggest that Ramidus were most likely omnivores, eating a varied diet of plants, meat and fruit. 